Hi, this is John Myrna, and welcome to this week's blog, What is a Foreclosure and How Does a Bankruptcy Stop It? Stay tuned. So what is a foreclosure? Foreclosure is the legal process of taking the title back. Generally, it occurs as a result of the mortgage lender wanting to recover the title because the, the debtor or the owner of the property has not fulfilled the mortgage obligation, which is to pay the mortgage. It can happen in other situations also. You don't pay your HOA fees. They can also uh, foreclose on the property. You don't pay your taxes. They can also foreclose on the property. You get a judgment lien. Don't pay the judgment lien. It's a little more difficult, but they can also foreclose on the property. So the process of foreclosure is really just them taking the title back so they can do whatever they want with the property to recover what's owed. Um, the process of it in Virginia is, is set out in, in the Virginia Code. And generally, um, you've got to miss, well, this part's not in the, in the Virginia Code, but generally it won't start until you've missed three to four mortgage payments. Um, then you'll get a notice from the, the foreclosure company or the foreclosure attorney stating that, you know, you're delinquent and they're going to start the process of foreclosure. Sometimes you'll, they'll give you a 30-day notice saying you have 30 days to catch up or the foreclosure will be um, noticed or uh, the sale date will be assigned. Um, however, you're not required, you don't, the, the law doesn't require that you get that 30 days. That's something that would be specific to your deed and more probably specific to the type of loan you have that requires that 30 day notice. However, once that, no, whatever notice is required is expired, that basically they can um, put up a sale date. And the way they advertise the sale date is they put it in a local newspaper and then um, it will make its way onto the web so it can be found by many people, including yourself. Um, one of the signs that a foreclosure sale date is out there is you're going to start getting a lot of funky calls, people trying to buy the house, asking if you want to sell it and all that. Um, don't be alarmed. I mean, it's just they're picking it up off the web. They don't have access to your personal data. Uh, the, f the way you receive the notice is you'll get regular mail, but you'll also get certified mail. So don't ignore certified mail if you are behind on your mortgage payment. It's very important you pick it up from the post office and make sure you find out what it says. Um, so the next question is, okay, so what does a bankruptcy do or how does a bankruptcy stop a foreclosure? Well, the, the powerful tool that's part of a bankruptcy is called the automatic stay. The minute you file a bankruptcy, the stay, the automatic stay, goes into effect automatically. And basically what it does is that stops all collection activities as of that moment. Now, you still have to notice the creditor to let them know, hey, I'm in bankruptcy. But the, the stay is in effect as of the time of filing. And generally, um, you know, you should notice them immediately so that they don't further damage themselves or by going through processes and, and expending costs, not realizing that the house is a foreclosure and they can't do it. Um, the, so the automatic stay goes in place. That's basically what stops the foreclosure sale. Now, the next question is, okay, I'm in a bankruptcy. What am I trying to do with the bankruptcy? Well, the bankruptcy, uh, assumedly, would be to keep the house. Some people are not interested in keeping their house. Maybe they're so far behind. They want to uh, just buy a little time. They want to wipe out the obligation on the note so it doesn't come after them later. Um, there's a lot of reasons that you would file a bankruptcy even though you're planning to surrender the house. It will still buy you time. If the bankruptcy... Chapter 7, in this case, is filed before the sale date and the notice goes out. The sale date will be stopped and they'll have to resume the sale. How long will it generally take for them to resume it? It could be three to four months. It is, it's quite a bit of time. Um, but in the Chapter 7, where you're liquidating unsecured assets, such, such as credit cards, medical bills, personal loans, it doesn't do anything to fix the problem that caused the foreclosure, which is being behind on the mortgage payment. It strictly eliminates debt, and it will eliminate your obligation on that mortgage. Um, but as you come out of the bankruptcy, or the house comes out of the bankruptcy, more importantly, the, they can resume the foreclosure to complete the process of getting that title back. So that, so a chapter seven, to answer the question, really doesn't do much more than delay the, bankruptcy, the uh, foreclosure for you. Chapter 13, which is more common when foreclosures are involved, especially for people that want to keep their house, does have the ability to set up a plan to pay back what you're behind. So the foreclosure gets stopped by the automatic stay once the Chapter 13 is filed, and then you submit a plan to the court showing how you're going to be able to pay over 
time to catch up on the missed mortgage payments. Now you have to resume the regular mortgage payment the, the, the month after you file and stay current with those mortgage payments as you go through the plan, which will generally be 36 to 60 months. But then you'll also have this court payment to catch up on what you're behind on the mortgage payment. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, I couldn't afford it before. Now you're telling me I have the mortgage payment and I got a catch-up payment. Well, the Chapter 13 plan can also restructure all your other debt. It can basically free up the cash flow that will allow you to be able to afford the 13 plan and save the house. It's complicated, and that's why you really need an attorney. Um, I was in court not too long ago, and a judge said out loud, basically, he's never seen a successful Chapter 13 where, where a debtor tried to do it themselves without, without an attorney. And... You know, you don't need my my agreements with that remark. My agreement with that remark, because the bottom line is that um, it's it's impossible it's it's impossible without software to do accurate calculations unless you have a very very simple case. But if you have a house, your case is not simple. So get with an attorney. They can structure a plan that'll help you get caught up on those mortgage payments, stop the foreclosure sale, and and basically restructure your whole debt so it frees you up from that drain of the other debt that may have been um, siphoning off. Um, and, and, and making it impossible to afford the mortgage payment. One of the things um, that you should be aware of is, you know, no one can save a house if you can't afford the house. So if your income's gone down and hasn't recovered, and you still can't afford that regular mortgage payment, then the best you can do is buy it time. That's where a great attorney can help you. They can help you buy that time to maybe to the point where that income comes back and you can save that house. So if you have a forced closure sale, I'd highly recommend my company, no biased, Kidding, but um, and and give us a call and, and let us take a look at your situation because um, the minute you start falling behind, you need to get that plan in place because the the foreclosure process is is almost impossible to delay, and you have a lot of work to do to see what your options are, figure out what we can do to buy you the time to get to those options, and also um, prepare the paperwork to get it in place properly to stop any sale and, and go forward. I, I, we offer free consultations and I tell everybody, look, come on in, no obligation, just sit down with us so you can at least hear our plan. That's going to give you a little bit of peace of mind and then you're going to be able to start relaxing and functioning towards that goal, which is to basically execute a plan that will save that house and, um, and get you back, caught back up. Once again, this is John Myrna um, with the Myrna Law Group. Um, Please give us a call. Like I said, we're, we have offices in Richmond, Newport News, and Virginia Beach. More than happy to help you if you're in a situation or faced with a foreclosure. All right, well, you have a great day.